What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. And in today's episode, we will be finally installing the H&R Lorene Springs on the E63 AMG. So let's jump into it. All right, so at the very top here, we have three bolts that hold the strut tower in place on the top end. There's a dust cover here that pops off and it reveals the 21 millimeter uh, nut that you need to break loose just a little bit before you start working down below. Not take it all the way off, but just break it while you still have some resistance because if you took it all the way off before breaking it, it might be kind of hard to get off. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're just gonna break this So now we have that broke, we can start working down below. All right, so with your tire off, we have a 18 millimeter nut with a T40 uh, torque bit. You have to have the T40 in the bolt or it will spin. First thing I do is take a 18 millimeter socket as well as a either a breaker bar or extendable ratchet. And I just wanna break the nut. So now that that's spinning, I'm gonna take a pass-through ratchet with an 18 millimeter socket on it. I'm gonna put that on here, or you can use a wrench, an 18 millimeter wrench. And then I have a T40 Torx bit that I put in the center there. And then I'm going to spin it to where the bolt comes out while it holds the nut. So in this case, I'm spinning to the right. All right, so I'm just gonna hold this and spin this out. So as you can see, the nut now is loose and I can just spin it off and then pull out the drop link and we're good. I'm gonna put the nut back on the bolt so I don't lose it and we're done with that part. Okay, so there's a clamp right here. It looks like a zip tie, but it's not a zip tie. There's a little pin that goes in the hole here. And with that, you have to push it out from the back side here. And then that comes out and it separates. You want to make sure you don't cut this and you just push that pin out and remove it. So you can take off this bracket here. All right, so with this bracket here, you want to take it off this little plastic piece. It holds all your um, wiring for your uh, speed sensors and brake sensors and, and your brake line. It just clamps on, so you just pull that off and you're good to go with that. So right here you wanna pull out the harness because it is attached to the strut tower here. It's just a clamp right here, press that. And then just pull that out like that. And now everything is free from this. You wanna protect this, make sure no dirt get in there or anything like that but you should be good once that's out. So next you wanna remove this bolt here. It is an 18 E socket bolt head and then you have a 21 millimeter nut on the back of the bolt. You wanna put the socket as well as the wrench on the back here or you can put another 21 millimeter socket on the back. And then you wanna have them going in the opposite direction because if not, then it's just going to turn. So I'm using my ratchet, the extendable one to break it loose. I like to pin the wrench against something solid because that has a better chance of holding it than I do as long as it doesn't break it. All right, so now that I broke this free a little bit, I can use my power ratchet here. All right, nuts off, bolts out. All right, so next we have the two bolts at the bottom all right, so down here, there's a E14 socket that you need to loosen up is one on this side as well as the other side. So just using the E14 socket, I'm going to break this loose. Now that we have it disconnected down below, we have to take out these top three bolts and then it'll fall down. Hopefully not fall down, you wanna hold it and uh, let it drop down below. So using the E12 socket, 
We're going to take out the top three bolts. So as I'm loosening up this last one, I'm going to reach underneath so I don't drop the strap. Now that the strut is out, we're going to disassemble it so we can get to the old spring and then put the new spring on, put it back together, put it back in the car. So let's start disassembling. With the strut out, you want to take off this plastic piece right here. It just pops off. That's the first thing you want to do. Now you don't want to unloosen this yet until you have your spring compressor tool fully secured on both sides. This one I already put on and then I'll show you how to put the other one on. So each tool may vary. This one is a pretty good one. All right, so you wanna make sure that you have this tool on securely. This is probably one of the major reasons why people don't do this job is because of the spring, but this one is a pretty good tool. It has these locking pins that you put in place on top of it, so you can see it goes on the top as well as underneath here. And that kind of avoids it from coming off. Not to say that it wouldn't, but that's a way better deal than the other ones. One thing to remember is to have it on both sides equally. You don't want both of them to be on this side or both on this side or one right here and one right here. You want it on both sides so you can provide equal compression as you're compressing down. All right, so I flipped it and they're both facing the same way. It's gonna be a little scratching probably going on here. I'm gonna have to spray it with some primer or something so it doesn't get rusty after the fact. But that was the best way to put it on. So that's what we're going with. So now we're gonna tighten it up and you wanna alternate between both sides and compress this evenly. So the spring is now compressed. I'm going to release the top bolt. It's a 21 millimeter socket. And we're gonna hit it and see. Now, always face this away from you, even if you have the compression tool, away from you, away from anything that may damage. So this is facing outside of the garage. As you see there, compression worked, nut came off, and everything is good. All right, there we have it. The head is off. All right, your mount is off. I'm going to back off the spring now to release the tension. All right, so the tension is off of the spring. Pull your pins. And you can take that off and you can take that off. And there you have your factory spring. You can see how much compression it was under. It was compressed all the way down to here. So that's why these tools here is very, very important. Do not do this without some type of spring compression tool because it's that much preload on the spring. And if that comes off, it would do some damage. All right, so here's our new spring and here's our old spring. As you can see, there is a drastic difference in the lengths. So the shorter it is, the more the car would drop down and be lowered. The higher the spring, the higher it goes up. So I'm anticipating a probably about a three-fourths drop with this spring here, 0.75 inches, but it will vary. But that's what it was advertised as being. So I'm hoping for less than an inch, because that's about all I need in the front. And we're gonna put this back on and then see what we get. When you're putting the new spring back on, you wanna make sure that it butts up right against this little stopper here. So we put that back on. And as you can see, there's a stopper and it stops right against there. That way you can ensure that you get proper fitment as well as maximum drop. 
As well as the top here, there is a stopper right there where the top part of the spring goes onto there. And you can fill it when it's in the right spot. But before we do that, we're gonna compress this down like we did before. And if it's scraped to side, uh, I would put it in the same spot. All right, let's get this a little snug. Now we're gonna put the nut back onto the strut here. All right, so with the bolt on there, enough so the top doesn't come off, we're going to release the tension on the spring. Looks like I'm gonna to have to do this by hand since it is tucked up under here. scratches here. I'm going to just spray that with some Rust-Oleum paint flat back just to seal it off so it doesn't get any type of rust or anything like that. So now that we have the spring, the new spring back on the strut, we can go ahead and put the strut assembly back into the car. First thing you want to do is get it secured to the top. That way you don't have to hold it while trying to put the other bolts in. Forgot the cap. And these only go on one way, by the way. So when you're putting on your cap here, it will go on only one way. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Ugh. by myself. That's why I say do it till you can't. Keep going. Now we're going to put the bolt back into the supporting strut and that will make sure that everything comes up and align. Don't forget your drop link bar, put that on. And don't worry, I'm gonna go back and tighten everything up. I'm just putting everything on there uh, just to make sure everything goes back. Then we have our bracket, put that back on. All right, so now you're gonna tighten up the bolts at the top here. All right, once you have everything tightened, put your cap back on and you're done with this side. So we're gonna finish up the other side and then show you the results. All right, for the torque specs, these bolts here are going to be 33 Newton meters. The link rock bolt is going to be 98 Newton meters. The bolt for the supporting strut is going to be 100 Newton meters, followed by a 90 degree turn. So these bolts here on the back of the supporting strut are going to be 70 Newton meters, then loosened, then followed by 100 Newton meters. And you do that on both sides and then you're done. Get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, look at my eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Start my day. Wake up, get up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Don't mind, clothes on. I can smell the smoke from the bacon yum, yum, yum. Let's go See the sun shining from the windows yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay I know that today will be a good day no, no, no. Okay I know that today will be a good day yeah, yeah, yeah. A, B, C One, two, three Drink some water Brush my teeth Get out of bed and I stretch 
Bad in my hair is a mess. Look through my clothes for a fit. So there you have it. it. Came out pretty good. I got the drop that I wanted. It's not too low, still not too high. So I'm gonna see how this pans out and as it settles over a week or so. And then I'll give you guys an update. So if you found some value in this and you enjoyed the video, please give me that thumbs up. And as always, do it until you can't. Until next time, I'm out. Lace, eat some, eat some breakfast, breakfast milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face.